hello and welcome to today's video if you're new here welcome and if you've been here before i'm glad you're back my voice is not completely back yet but it's getting there so um, yeah i'm sorry if you're gonna have a bit of a scratchy sound still um in today's video i am so excited uh i have done a very wintry design you already know this but it's oh my god it's so cute like it has like f fluffy things and then it has you know the little uh, snowman that doesn't know exactly what's happening and then you know another one there and just oh i love this design so much it's it's so cute it's so good for winter uh, for those clients that don't want christmas nails yet so they don't want like full on glitter yet or anything they can just have like a wintry design uh, and this would be perfect and it's easy to do it's so easy to do uh, you're gonna see in a minute <laughs> but uh, I really hope you're gonna enjoy today's video and I hope you're gonna try to recreate these because they are so adorable and everyone needs to have them oh they're so cute uh, so yeah, I really hope you're gonna enjoy today's video. If you are gonna recreate, please tag me in it because I would love to see it. Uh, also, let me know what you think about this background because uh, I, I thought, you know, it's gonna be something fluffy. Like these little mittens. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, um, with all of that said and me rambling again for a very long time, uh, let's do some nails. Real quick, I completely forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, the color I'm gonna use today is from Lavender Violets and this is made in China, so be careful, use gloves. But it's, I absolutely love this brand, to be honest. I never had any issues, but again, precautions are uh, a really big thing. So make sure you do use gloves because, you know, they're not, they might not be regulated as well as something made from uh, EU. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Never had any issues with it, to be honest. I used it for years. It was the brand that I first started with um, and I still have loads of colors. So, yeah, just, just you know, keeping that in mind. Uh, this color is called Whisper White, and I don't actually have the number here because, as I said, I always, like, put numbers for the way I store them in the drawer, but the I do write them on the tips, so it's H495 if you want this color. And it's absolutely beautiful. They're really inexpensive, so for someone starting out, I do think something is like this is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of shimmer in there and it's such a gorgeous color. But uh, yeah, keep everything in mind and uh, be safe. And now we're gonna start our nails. <laughs> On all five tips, I'm going in with one layer of uh, that Whisper White and I'll cure that for uh, 60 seconds in an LED lamp. Then going in with that dotting tool uh, from the vice versa brush. Again, you can use any dotting tool as long as like the really tiny head of it on it. Um, and now I applied another layer of that uh, white whisper white uh, color. And without curing, I'm just creating these kind of circles. So I'm creating the texture on it. Uh, just because this looks so much like a frozen kind of surface. I, I just love this technique so much. It looks beautiful in real life. The camera picks up, picks it up a bit weird, but in real life it looks gorgeous. And before you put that in the lamp, I would let it settle for about 30 seconds, just so any of the like big uh, texture that you created can, you know, kind of smooth out. And then I'm going in here with the ultimate no wipe top coat from Ink London. I'm apply, applying a layer of that and I'm gonna hold it upside down to make sure it fills up again any kind of crevices. And look at that, that's just gorgeous. I, I love it so much. It's beautiful. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with Artisan 4D Sculpting Gel in white and brown from Nail Chemi. And I'm gonna use a, a palette knife. I always forget how that's called. Then I'm going in with the 3D Master from Ink London and the Dehydrator um, and I'm going to use this as a slip solution. I'm first going to take a really really big chunk uh, <laughs> of that brown 
and I'm gonna warm it, up, warm it up in my hand a little bit just to make it a bit more like workable um, you don't need to do this for a lot the nail chemi 3d 4d gels are quite soft but it's just for a couple of seconds yeah it, you really don't need to do that much then I've put that circle and you saw I cut a slit on the side and I created basically the thumb and now I'm going in with my brush and I'm pressing even more. I'm bringing that um, shape out a little bit and I am smoothing everything out. Also, um, this 3D gel again is very, very soft. So I got a really nice, nice texture everywhere with using my brush basically. So it has like this... Uh, I don't know, textile texture maybe? Uh, just has lines from the brush basically, you, you, you see. Then I'm, I'm just taking the, the dotting tool again and I'm creating little holes everywhere and try to keep these as kind of even as possible. They don't have to be perfect. This is a handmade design. And then because you pushed a little bit of product out of the way, you should go back in and just like smooth out the surface, clean out all the top coat because that nail is top coated. It's really easy to like clean up and um, just kind of, you know, go around it with some of that uh, slip solution and clean up your surface because that, that's just sloppy. It looks ugly. Anyway, this is the other nail. That one is already in the lamp. It's curing now. And with this one, I actually, I don't know what happened, but for the second one, I kept on having troubles with like the, the shape. I couldn't get it exactly the same size as the other one. I guess it's not a huge deal, but it's really kind of annoyed me. You see me, I keep on going in uh, and trying to like, make it even but it's just it's not the same i needed a bigger thumbnail i think thumb 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 not thumbnail yeah um but it, it looks good you know if you don't actually take them and measure them one next to the other you you're not gonna be able to tell but it just really really annoyed me so um yeah i did spend a lot of time just kind of going back and forth on this one and then I'm going back in and I am creating those little holes, which, you know, you're going to have like stitches coming out of them. Um, I just thought that this would be a nice detail to add. I don't like, I don't even know if I've seen something like this. I'm, I'm sure I did somewhere, but mm, I just thought it's going to be a nice detail. Then I'm going in with that uh, 4D uh, gel in white. And I am going to create, I think these are called cuffs or something. And this is going to be a very fluffy cuff you're going to see in a minute. Uh, but first I'm flattening it, flattening it out. I am creating basically like a rectangle. A rectangle. It's really easy to create. Um, I'm just faffing a lot more than I should, as always. I always faff a lot more. And if you have any kind of lint with this 4D gel it's really easy because you add a bit more of that slip solution and you just like kind of brush it off and it comes off really nice so basically I really like this for this type of uh, thing and then I'm obviously gonna clean up my uh, area because you have to and then I'm gonna move on to the next nail the other one is curing now so you know, I, I kept on working in between these two just because I didn't know exactly what I, how I wanted them to go in the next one. So I didn't want to wait and see if this is going to look good. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go in for both of them. That's it. <laughs> and you saw me taking some product off there. If you do have too much product, you can take it away. You can put it back in the pot. It's going to be fine. So, um, yeah, I'm just creating the same thing here with this one. Again, I faffed a lot more than I should have, probably because I added a lot more of that white. And this, this is what's going to make everything fluffy. This is flocking powder. This is how it's called. You can find it everywhere online. And you use it, I just applied a bit of uh, top coat. Here I'm using that vice versa brush. You can see that it's um, some of it is sticking out and it's annoying. <laughs> but uh, I fixed it. It's fine now. Um, but I'm applying some of that no wipe top coat. 
be very careful where you apply it. You need to be um, like apply it very sparse and only to the areas where you want this because this is gonna stick anywhere. So just yeah, keep that in mind. You can wipe it off before you put it in the lamp, but just just keep that in mind. And then I'm gonna take this flocking powder, and you see it's like it's a really light texture and it's really kind of weird uh, you can't really breathe while you're doing this because it's gonna go everywhere <laughs> it's really light at the same time and yeah it it doesn't work um, how I apply it I will go in on the second one and just kind of uh, put it out of the pot straight because this this was just painful it was painful for me to watch and it's probably painful for you to watch but I thought I'm gonna have a bit of time to uh, kind of talk about it so I didn't actually fast forward this this is me struggling in real life it was hard <laughs> it was very hard but um, once you have it everywhere exactly the same as you would sugar something you check all the spots to see any shininess if you don't see any shininess you put that in the lamp and you let it bake and then I'm going in on the second nail and I will do exactly the same thing I'm applying it everywhere just very very gently you don't have to uh, apply a lot of this is gonna stick to anything um, one thing I need to mention is that I wouldn't put this like you can put it on a whole nail but it's not like it it wears off quite uh, easily so the smaller the surface the better is gonna hold I know it makes no sense but trust me it does um, and yeah you can see me here I'm going straight in with the pot and it's a lot better a lot quicker and a lot easier for me and then just kind of give it a bit of a shake to remove all the excess but because that uh, top coat just is gonna take everything uh, that it needs and then yeah and now here I am just using a fluffy brush I'm not gonna use a very very like hard brush to remove this because there's no point it's gonna come off really easily um, and now you can see that those cuffs are fluffy and like wooly and oh they're adorable uh, then I'm gonna go in with the artist brush from Ink London and some um, gel paints from uh, Nail Chemi. And these are the stamping. I, I, I knew I had to say something uh, extra. These are the stamping ones which don't have a tacky layer after they cure. Which means that uh, they're gonna remain, you know... Um, how they are so they don't need top coat that that's what I meant oh my god I can't really talk so I'm using the black and white uh, here uh, first I'm using the black obviously because you know and to do the stitches you can see it's really really easy you're kind of just going in those holes and you're using them as a reference and then try to keep kind of um, the same diagonal that you started with so just you know don't go in all directions or you can you can actually create like uh cross stitches or something like that if you want but don't go you know one on one side and one on the other because that would just look weird so i left it as you see it here and it's really easy and neat and i i love it um, again this is me in real time because i decided to not speed up as much because I had some people that didn't like the fact that I speed up my videos um, so I tried to kind of keep it kind of like longer <laughs> I am trying I am really trying but at the same time I feel like I'm boring people out when I'm doing something like this where it's real time and just takes forever like I I, I have to have something like quite quick to watch uh, in order to keep me kind of entertained so yeah I, I know that sounds weird but uh, that's how I am <laughs> so here I kind of messed up but it's fine it's fine no one's gonna know nah that it's it's between the fingers it's it's all right just keep going yep 
just keep going. That's it. <laughs> oh God. See, see what I mean? This just takes forever. I just, I like to speed up things because it takes less time. But I do understand that um, when you're trying to like follow something, it just, it, it's not working very nicely if something is sped up. So there you are. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so after you've done that, I am just gonna create kind of like a loop here and I will bring that loop and connect it to the like top of that cuff and then collect it, uh, co connect it to the top of the nail. So basically like the string is going away somewhere kind of thing. Um, it just adds a little bit more detail. You can make the string any color you want. Um, I just kept it black because the stitching was black. So you can change the stitching color to any color you want as well by the way so uh, and the glove color you can make it red you can make it green you can make it i don't know whatever color you want basically um so yeah i'm just creating that and try to make it kind of even everywhere i didn't succeed but that's fine it's because uh i'm working on a shiny surface as well so it's quite hard to paint with um anything on top of a shiny surface and then this is the second nail and I'm creating those stitches again and here you can see that I kind of sped up this because you already saw half an hour of this so what's the point in seeing it again <laughs> um, and again you see that I am kind of keeping those stitches at the same kind of angle they don't have to be perfect even if this would be a real uh, glove, it would probably be a handmade glove, so it doesn't have to be perfect, ever. It's even when made from a machine, it's not gonna be completely perfect, so just keep that in mind. Uh, don't, don't stress yourself out for something that's, you know, pointless, like I do. <laughs> And yeah, just continue with the stitching. And this is very therapeutic when you do it. It's not when you see it, but um, it is what it is. And now here I am going in with that uh, white gel paint. And I am creating a very, very simple snowflake because you don't need ex an extreme amount of detail on this. Uh, seeing as it's a very, very small surface. So... I'm just creating lines and then I'm just creating smaller lines at the top of them and that's it. That's my snowflake and it's a really easy way to make a snowflake. And then here I'm just gonna add a little kind of star and I'm gonna go in again with some more dots and make it look like snowflakes, even more snowflakes. I don't know, you can add here anything you want. You can add lines, you can add, I don't know, a polar bear if you want. I wouldn't go with a huge amount of details because it's, again, a small surface and a lot is going to be lost uh, for the general public. <laughs> so just keep it as simple uh, as you can and then it's going to look really clean and nice and tidy. So I'm doing exactly the same thing on the second nail. And this is really, really easy to create. And um, also, snowflakes don't have to be perfect either. So get that out of your mind really well. <laughs> um, right, those two nails are done. And um, by the way, that 4D gel doesn't need to be cured. Uh, doesn't need to be top coated at all. Uh, here I'm going in with some white uh, 4D gel and I basically just used my glove to create that circle and I'm just coming in with the brush and adding like, not adding, making that circle uh, more perfect. So I really loved the, the texture that my gloves gave to this as well because it uh, I have those like ribbed tips of the of the gloves and once you press it into it you can see that there's a little bit of texture and I really really loved that 
So I kept on going with it like it is because there was no point in me uh, trying to do that with a brush because it would have looked weird. Then I'm going to go in with the same 4D gels but I'm going to go in with black and red. And for the first I'm going in with black and I'm taking a small amount and I'm putting it at the top of the head. And obviously this is going to be like a top hat, I think they're called. And now I am just using like the, the brush to create kind of like a ridge that covers the head a little bit uh, to make that, I, I don't know how it's called, to make like the bottom of the hat, I, you, you know what I mean. And then I am going to kind of square that up a little bit and push from to I'm gonna leave like that ledge there at the bottom and I'm gonna push the rest a little bit higher and try to make it nice and even um, this ended up looking more like a I think it's like a train something than you know the the, the guy that uh, conductor I think it's called train conductor I'm not sure exactly um, but yeah, it looks more like one of those hats than an actual top hat, but uh, yeah, it's all right. Anyway, going in with 4D gel, God, I rambled a lot. This is what happens when you make me not uh, fast forward. <laughs> I do end up rambling a lot. Um, so now I'm going in with that red and you saw I made like a little snake kind of thing, but uh, with the middle thicker than the ends. Just because when you see like a, a scarf wrapped around someone's neck, you don't necessarily see the sides uh, are as thick as the front. So, you know, just, yeah, just done that. And now I'm going in and adding some more and creating like the ends of the scarf. Um, you need to be very careful and clean up after yourself when you do this because you can see already I stained that white it's fine it's gonna come off unless you actually cure it so be very very careful uh, before you cure a 4d design if you use multiple colors uh, or even if you used only one color and you messed up like your background make sure you actually look properly uh, yeah and here I added just like a little dot to make the knot that connects those two um, but make sure you clean up before you actually cure. I didn't cure this whole scarf until the end, so I will clean up in a second, but uh, be very careful because this can really ruin your design. And especially if you like worked on something that was quite um, difficult to create and then you, you know, you didn't clean up and you left a mess, just make sure you clean up after yourself. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can see me here cleaning up and if you think that the brush leaves a bit more residue like it happened to me on the brown uh, when I was working with the white on top of the brown uh, earlier, make sure you change your liquid and you give your brush again a good clean because uh, the residue can get back into your liquid. Here I am again putting a dot of uh, that red I didn't want to bring orange in, I just thought I'm going to use red and create like a Rudolph's nose a little bit. So I'm just adding that dot and I'm pressing it in and trying to make it kind of even everywhere um, and remove any of the textures that my fingers left. And I am just going to yeah go around and keep on like uh, pushing it until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And now I'm just adding some dots for the final details and then this nail is done and the whole set is done. You can add more things on the other ones, but I'm happy with how they are. These are all done now and you saw how easy it was to do them. Uh, they are just completely adorable in my opinion. I really hope you guys are gonna think the same. Um, and they're re really easy to do. You saw how easy it was to do them. So, you know, why not try it? Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you know if you did like comment do something to help me maybe uh, grow my channel a little bit more 
uh, if you want to. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.